Hello, this is the National Weather Service in Sacramento, California. El Nino for interior Northern California is the topic of this video. This was recorded on Friday, June 6, 2014 and is approximately four minutes long. Typically for El Nino years, the jet stream gets pushed to the south, so most of the winter storms hit the southern half of the west coast. This shows why Southern California has a tendency to receive above normal precipitation amounts during El Nino events. Our area is on the northern fringe of that wet belt, which is shown by the hatched area in this image. By fall, the Climate Prediction Center says there is a 77% chance of an El Nino increasing to an 82% chance by the end of 2014. The strength of the El Nino is very uncertain at this time. Different models show a variety of outcomes, from weak to strong, but most are trending to the weak or moderate category, as you can see in this image. Now we'll take a look at how the strength of El Nino can impact our region. This section will show a series of bar graph charts that indicate the strength of previous El Nino years, the annual precipitation amounts for those years, and how they departed from normal. These next three slides are for the Northern Sierra Sacramento Basin 8 Station Index. These eight long-term precipitation gauges are a good indicator of the condition of our water supply and snowpack for the Northern Sierra. The Climate Prediction Center has been classifying El Nino and La Nina events for 64 years. In that period, there have been five strong El Nino events. Looking at this chart, the middle zero line is normal precipitation of 50 inches, and the bars show how many inches of rain above or below normal occurred in each year. For the 8 station index, 4 out of 5, or 80 percent, of the strong El Nino events were above normal precipitation. However, I want to caution you that 5 events out of 64 is a very small sample size. Note that our wettest year on record of 1983 was a strong El Nino year. This next graph is for a moderate El Nino events. There have been nine events and only five of the nine, or 56 percent of those, have been above normal precipitation. There have been seven weak El Nino events for the Northern Sierra 8 Station Index. Four out of the seven, or 57 percent, have received above normal precipitation. Again, no strong correlation to above normal precipitation in Northern California for El Nino. As you can see, 1977, which is our driest year on record, was a weak El Nino. Now we'll take a look at the Central Sierra San Joaquin River Basin 5 Station Index. For those of you in the San Joaquin Valley, these next slides are more applicable to you. These are the same bar charts showing departure from normal precipitation for the San Joaquin 5 Station Index. Normal for this group of gauges is 40.8 inches. For the five strong El Nino events, three of the five, or 60 percent of those, were above normal precipitation. Here we see the nine moderate El Nino events, and four of the nine, or 44 percent, received above normal precipitation. And for the seven weak El Ninos, only two of the seven or 29% were above normal. Despite high potential for El Nino, there is no strong indicator that interior Northern California will receive above average precipitation this coming winter season. To help communicate how El Nino is related to interior Northern California precipitation variability, we've developed the website pictured here. You can find it on our NWS Sacramento webpage at weather.gov slash Sacramento under the Drought Information tab. We'll keep you updated to the latest conditions and outlooks for Northern California through our website and social media. Thanks for listening.